On Saturday, murder and mayhem are seven hours apart. Okay, murder and mayhem are seven hours apart. The killing on Saturday first started with a double murder along Arapita Avenue in Woodbrook during the early hours where persons were liming in Carnival on Carnival Saturday. One of the seeds was been identified as Atiba Rodriguez and Jesse James, both of Romaine lands in Mover. James and Rodriguez died at the scene of the shooting around 4.25 4 a.m. on Saturday, 18th of February, 2020. Police Constable Dowell and, pol and Police Constable Ali of the Woodbrook Police Station responded to loud explosion at Arapita Avenue on Saturday. Upon arrival at the scene, they observed two men of African descent lying motionless on the pavement near Club 63. 37-year-old Tessa French, a British national visiting Montreux, Vis Vincent Channel Big of a Carnival was also shot in the right calf and was taken to Portsmouth Hospital for medical treatment. Sergeant Mohammed, and officers of Region 1 Homicide Bureau of Investigation, visited the scene and started investigating along with ACP Collis Hazel, Senior Superintendent Rishi Singh of uh, Homicide Bureau 1, and Acton ASP Lal and other officers from the Port of Spain Division. So again, the, this is the area here in front of Club 63. You know? But I'll tell you something. And if I, that is so embarrassing, yeah? So, so embarrassing. And I think the government should, should have made sure maybe taken this girl to the, the, this, this national to a private institution for medical treatment, make sure she's well secured and, you know, organized and whatnot because this is embarrassing. You'll come for carnival. I real shame thing out there, you know? That is a lot, a lot of shame. I mean, even though... Boy, that was just terrible. That was just terrible. So I think that they should have really, really, you know, pay extra attention to this national visiting from the UK where she was shot. I was, as I was telling some friends on Saturday that, but it, on, on, um, on Sunday that that girl should have been taken to a private hospital, you know, private room and, you know, you, you come because something happened, man, you know, because it looking bad, it looking real bad, it looking real bad. I only hope they didn't leave the girl in the hospital just so on, you know. But it's really, really sad. 